On Hale's show by the lighthouse John Middleton did play Among the rocks and sands All on that summer's day He drew a man upon the sand The tallest man you ever did see With barrel chest and pitchfork hands And legs like mighty trees But John grew tired of his play As the sun was setting in the west and inside that giant sandman he laid him down to rest I am the child of Hail, he said, but if I were a full-grown man I'd bring back gold and silver, enough for everyone And as he slept he dreamed Beneath the setting sun Of riches and adventures In his life to come When he awoke in dawn's early light He felt so very strange For upon this young man's body Had come a wondrous change The figure drawn upon the sand Now exactly fit his size and when he struggled to his feet, he could not believe his eyes. His head did touch the sky, his legs like mighty oaks. His chest was like a barrel, he thundered once. First of all, just... Can I, can I just thank everybody from the Parish Council and Brian for inviting uh, Murdess and I along here this morning. I mean, it is absolutely a real pleasure. In a, in a year, you do a lot of things, but this to me is absolutely fantastic. When we came round that corner before and we saw this statue, it is really, really amazing. And I thought that actually that the biggest man in the village was Brian, who has been and is an absolute champion for Hale. I've got to say, wherever we met, we met him. Um, but I'll just give you. That was the long speech. Um, and it, it, it is rather cold and wet, so I'm just going to do this. And I hope you don't mind. There's a little bit of history in here, because Hale Village has always been synonymous with the man that the legend says was a gentle giant who lived in the village. He lived in the white cottage here in Church End, just in front of where we are now assembled. Um, John Middleton lived from 1573 until 1623, and I know some of you will know all this, but there are a lot of people that won't know this, so. Uh, he was known locally as a child of Hale because of his astonishing height, which was reported to be over nine foot tall, and we believe he was nine foot three. Nobody's actually been in the church and dug up and, and checked, but uh, we, we believe he was nine foot three. Uh, and there was until a few years ago a beech tree just a bit further down church end, which is carved into a depiction of the charm uh, carrying hair lighthouse under his arm. And I'm sure most people here will have seen it. And that was a fantastic carving as well, uh, I've got to say. This tree became uh, much loved but featured in a uh, landmark in the village but sadly had to be removed in 2011 when the tree decayed and became unsafe and I've got to say that that tree stayed there for such a long time and it is a real tribute to the people of this village and the young people of this village that that tree was not uh, ruined or destroyed or done anything else so I would just like to congratulate all of the young people for the, of the village for keeping that in the way as I'm sure you will do if anybody comes anywhere near this I'm sure you'll all be running off to tell us what's going on but I will, I will pay tribute to the young people of the village for that and the villagers themselves for making sure that tree stayed as, as good as it could for all those years the council and local people came to this get together to discuss what should replace it and with the help of the Hill Park Restoration Project, funded by Big Lottery and Heritage Lottery Fund, of which I believe we have some representatives here today, we were able to replace the carved tree with this bronze sculpture of the child. This bronze has been sculpted by Diana Gorvin and Phil Buse. And Diana, is Phil here as well? And, uh, uh, Diana is, where's Diana? I know she's a very shy person. <laughs> Diana, Diana's over the back here with the, with the purple, uh, scarf on uh, the, the royal purple scarf now she's here in Hale Village well I'd just like to thank you Diane but uh, Diane and Phil it, it was Phil who carved the original tree and we now have this fantastic contribution to the village and a new attraction for people to associate with Hale 
The three metre high bronze sculpture depicts John in his special fine clothing, clothing that he wore for his trip to the King's Court in 1617. And this location is between where he lived and where he is bedded in St Mary's Church. If anybody's not been in, it's right behind me, so you can't miss it, uh, in Mer St Mary's Churchyard. I'm sure this sculpture will become a major attraction and source of pride for Hale Village and Holton Boy. I'd like to thank everyone concerned. I realise I mentioned a few names here. I may have missed people out, but a lot of people have been uh, 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 help, help, been helping in, in this project. And I'd just like to thank, if I've missed anybody's name, I'd just like to thank everybody uh, that, that has helped. Uh, so with that, I'd like to thank everyone concerned with, uh, uh, with realising the project, which has been a great success. Um, I would say I've officially opened it, but we've not got anything on it. Uh, it, it they, they said he would have had to put two sheets together to put them over there. So uh, I, I'd just like to say, um, on behalf of Alton Borough Council, Hill Village, to all of those people who helped, this is for you. Take care of it. All you young people, really look after it for me, won't you? Yes? Yes, thank you very much. So there we are, the child of I want to go say we've got a couple of people here from Brazenose College, which is absolutely brilliant because actually there's quite close links with Brazenose College and the Child of Hale, because the Child of Hale actually went to Brazenose College. So thank you very much for coming from Brazenose College. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Finally, I would have to reiterate, Diane, you've done an absolutely brilliant job here, something that we're all proud of. So well done to you. We are pretty yeah. 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 Finally, I will say this, uh, thank you to everybody for coming today because it's not been the best of weather, but actually you've come out in quite really big numbers. It just shows how important this is to people in Hale Village, so thank you all very, very much. Finally, thank you to Tom and Angela for coming out to Mayor and Mayor S. Holton. It's absolutely brilliant. You've had to take time today. Thank you. And finally, just enjoy the rest of the day. I'm sure you're going to be here photographs, Tom. Ryan? Yeah, brilliant with young children. Thank you. Thank you. John sits on the shore by the lighthouse and lays himself down. Then he dreams of all the sights and sounds of old London town. The ladies in the finery, the cage birds that sing. The tower and the palace, princesses and kings. I am the child of Hale, he said, though I am poor, I have been blessed. I have come home to live in peace, where I take my rest. You are a child, the people cry, we will never forget you. The giant heart and a simple soul, the good man through and through. On Hale Shore by the lighthouse, John Middleton did play. Among the rocks and sands on that long gone summer's day. 